I like to start right from the beginning. It's the generic question. I'm sure you've been asked a million times, but I still find it fascinating. When did you first see professional wrestling and when did you first become a fan of it? I What I remember was the cartoons, little blips of the cartoons in my head, flashes of uh, of that. So I was aware of pro wrestling um, before really watching it. So like Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling, that Ex- exactly, yes. All right. So I so I remember glimpses of that, but um going over to a friend's house, oh. I was I believe in the sixth grade, but it would have been when WrestleMania six um was on VHS. It just came out on VHS and went over to a friend's house to play a board game. Ultimate Warrior was making his way to the ring, and I said, Hot damn, that's what I want to do. And oh, uh, right then and there. Yeah, yeah, it looks so cool. I didn't really believe I could do it until I was in high school. And I had a, a friend who had a co-worker that was going to a wrestling school. I realized that that was a possibility, and that was it. So with your fandom, Ultimate Warrior was the first one who really attracted you. Who else were some of your favorites then uh, when you were younger? It well, quickly became Coco Beware once I started watching the VHSs uh, of all the uh, available WWF stuff. Yeah, Coco Beware became my favorite. Uh, still loved the Ultimate Warrior. Um, you know, as I got a little older, you know, just like everybody else, you start to like the heels, and I liked Mr. Perfect and Shawn Michaels. But the yeah, Coco Beware was my my favorite uh, for my childhood. That's great. Now, just a plug for the channel. We on the most recent episode we did with Savonaro because he's come on a couple times. Great guy. Uh, he told mm. a hilarious Coco Beware story. So if that video is out by the time this is released, guys, go check it out. Trust me, it's very funny. <laughs> and he he was talking about you too. And you know, he seemed like he really appreciated your advice and stuff in Ring of Honor back in the day too. So, oh man, I was I, I was really uh, fortunate enough. That uh, Gabe Sapolsky uh, put us together for a stretch down at FIP and yeah, yeah, yeah Sal was great. He, he uh, really uh, grateful that we got to spend time together. Very good storyteller too. Just a good guy. He was the first guy who offered to do an interview with me. So with, if it wasn't for his help, who knows? You know, if I have any. So I really appreciate his time doing that. Yeah. 